morning by Professor Alexander Basilo from this Lachboroch University. Yeah, I think just went to the bathroom, so maybe let's Still, give Oh, it. I'm sorry. 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 I'm Thank you. Uh, yeah, so it's actually a great pleasure. I'm enjoying conference uh, thoroughly. And uh, actually, uh, the uh, uh, stuff I'm going to talk about, we were thinking for quite a while with uh, uh, Alec Chalek and Misha Fagin mainly. And uh, the I will try to convince you that the problem which we came <clears throat> from quantum integrable system and integrable <laughs> systems actually are very important. I mean, uh, and uh, uh, at some point we stuck. <laughs> and uh, um, this is basically a, a review of what we found in this important classification problems. Um, so far, what we know, and maybe now we're ready to, to make some conjectures, right? Um, so there are two actually um, um, uh, stories. One is kind of locus configuration, which can, can be considered as natural generalization of reflection arrangement. And the second um, uh, part is about check system, which is far going generalization, a bit uh, conjecturally, uh, locus configuration are embedded, but again, it's conjecture. But there are other um, conjectural links, which uh, with, with the theory of hyperplane arrangement, and uh, uh, which I'm going to uh, uh, explain. And uh, 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 I hope that, um, uh, you know, some some maybe, comments um, on on this relation and some um, uh, correction if uh, if I say uh, if I'm not um, uh, uh, updated about the state of 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 the art which I learned actually uh, already during the conference but uh, you know I, I I came from theory of integrable system which is which is uh, not necessarily uh, uh, part of this uh, uh, theory. Right, so uh, uh, let me start now. So what is locus configuration? So it's a kind of, as I said, generalization of uh, uh, reflection um, uh, hyperplane arrangement. So uh i will believe in in the first part in euclidean real euclidean vector space so uh that's why it will be part of euclidean geometry not just uh, a fine geometry and uh, so we can see the hyperplan arrangement but uh um with multiplicity taken with multiplicity as we have seen already in in the first uh, uh talk today, this will be um, important. Right? So locus configuration of hyperplane is defined in following. So we can, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, thing that you can either label um, this hyperplane arrangement simply as a product of alpha x to the power to the power m alpha, Right, and this is of course defined uniquely, but in this story, uh, it's, uh, the the uh, uh, one should consider potential, which contains all the information about about uh, the hyperplane arrangement, because there's a singularity of this potential, and this comes from the theory of collodger moser type of systems, and uh, uh, M alpha is 
is uh, uh, integers here, right? But in, in Kaloja Mozart, they are arbitrary, but here it's very special. And uh, this is our definition with uh, Alek Chalak and Misha Fagin. And uh, um, so this is locus configuration. Uh, uh, terminology, I must say, come from early work of uh, Jürgen Moser, uh, Rowe and McKean. They call it locus, and locus is actually a set of critical points of certain functional, that's why it's locus. Locus comes from, from the theory of uh, kaloger moser system and Kartevek de Fries equation. So it's, um, it satisfies, um, uh, uh, it's locus configuration if on every hyperplane we have quasi-invariance condition. Invariance condition, if you apply reflection, as alpha is reflection uh, 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 with respect to the hyperplane, if it's zero, then it's a usual invariance, but here it's, it should be divisible by high power of uh, alpha x, right? Of, of the equation of hyperplane. Sorry, what do you mean by O of that equation to the two M alpha? What is O? Oh yeah, it's, it's o, o, o big. It means that it's divisible by alpha x to the power two M alpha. Uh, near, near the hyperplane, it's, it's small, right? right. And uh, so are the M alphas fixed or so delta? Yeah. Is it a part of the data? Right, it's a part of the data. I should say that's why it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, we call it not arrangement, but locus configuration. So locus configuration, it's high planes, first of all, in Euclidean space, plus multiplicities, right? It's equipped arrangement of hyperplanes living in Euclidean space also. Additional data, indeed. And then you have overdetermined system, right? I mean, this is the same equation written um, uh, written explicitly. So why it was uh, uh, important? Because uh, there is actually generalization, which was mentioned in the first uh, talk today. Uh, the quasi-invariance, you can uh, ask the same question for the polynomial simply, not just for potential, for polynomial. And then you have an algebra of quasi-invariance which are invariant up to the order 2m alpha with respect to the hyperplane up to the order 2m alpha. So it means that the first normal derivative, uh, odd normal derivative, is zero, right? All this. If you have invariant, then all normal derivatives are zero, but here it's only the first uh, m odd derivative are zero. And then, uh, so it, it turned out that if you have... Uh, mm, if you have a, a locus configuration, then uh, there is actually a homomorphism of this algebra of, uh, of uh, a kind of extended Harish-Chandra homomorphism. Instead of invariance, you're using quasi-invariance. And quasi there are many more, of course, quasi-invariant uh, polynomial. For example, you can take product of alpha x to big power, and it will be uh, 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 quasi-invariant. But, uh, and uh, 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 so there is a homomorphism, so which, which uh, maps um, uh, X square, uh, which is naturally uh, quasi invariant. Invariants, of course, are living inside, and the first invariant here is X square, and then it maps to generalized Kaloja Ramoser operator. And thus, by uh, uh, some uh, definition from theory of quantum integrals, it's called algebraically integrable, a stronger version, because uh, 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 you have more than uh, the algebra of quasi invariance is larger, much larger than algebra of invariance. So, usual Kaloja Moser operator uh, has uh, uh, quantum integrals. Um, mm, the uh, uh, only uh, invariant, but for integer m, we have quasi invariant actually, it's a no, not invariant quantum integrals. And if you know locus configuration, then there is a beautiful uh, Eurobarist formula, um, which is explicit, right? I mean, you can write down um, uh, n is a degree of p here and this is just uh, so quantum integrals in this case it's it's effective basically all what you have to know just find locus configuration of hyperplanes and then after that you have immediately algebraically integrable quantum uh, 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 integrable system of closure most of time right 
so which is uh, which is actually Kaloja Ramosa um, uh, quantum integrable system. I, I can only say that it's probably the most important integrable system in in uh, in uh, um, in the theory of integrable system with many 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 relations which are still okay. So examples. What are examples? Of course, Coxeter uh, reflection hyperplane arrangement um, is uh, is uh, uh, locus system provided you choose multiplicity in J invariant way. So if you have two orbits, you have two integer multiplicities, right? So uh, in particular, in CN case, you have two integer uh, two multiplicities M and L, right? But then and <sighs> I had actually conjecture long ago, which which say that that's all because it's kind of. Uh, but then we discovered this deformed root system, and that's two series of this. And this is our work with uh, Alek Chalach, Misha uh, uh middle of nineties. So we realized that there is actually it's uh, on. On Kalogera Moser system, which can be interpreted in IN as M particles on the line interacting with one over X square potential, it means that, roughly speaking, you can add one more particle of very special mass, right, uh, with special interaction, and it still be integrable, but only in the quantum case, not in the classical case, right? It's pure quantum phenomena. That's why we didn't expect it, right? Classical theory, probably it's true, right, in some sense. But uh, but on quantum case, it's it's a pure quantum phenomena. You can deform one one system physically, uh, and uh, and then uh, so you have one parameter deformation m. When m is one, you have just a usual uh, Coxeter system co reflection hyperplane. But otherwise, and uh, so you have a definition of a classical uh, locus configuration. No, no, no. This is pure quantum phenomena, right? No, no, no. But you said it goes to infinity, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You said that maybe classically it is true. So what is true? So what is it? Classically, it is uh, if you consider uh, potential, which is um, which is uh, um, some of the squares on the hyperplane arrangement with some coefficient, then it must be Coxeter. There is no deformed. Information is pure quantum phenomenon. That's basically the belief. Yes. Now here you have uh, two, three parameters, but they are related by this. So essentially, it's K and L, and then M can be found, right? I mean, this is uh, uh, the extra, extra. Okay. So mask. Uh, what is the second suffix? Uh, a N one plus or... one. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the A or C. Oh, it's multiplicity in multiplicity L. Denotation index one, index one and denotation. Oh yeah, because we add that one more, uh, one more. Um, it was C N, but we add that one more. Okay, okay. Uh, coordinates. Oh, yeah, I see. It related to a fine. No, system. no, 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 no. I mean, I will explain to how to what is related to. It is related, but in a very mysterious way to. Um, uh, restrictions of uh, Coxeter arrangement, but uh, it's this will be done. So uh, just to complete essentially the list of, uh, I will be talking only about real configuration because in the complex we have many more. For example, in dimension two, we have as many as, well, you have parameter theta and you have partition here, any partition, any choice of parameter theta, you have you can take Ronsky of this function and it gives you complex in general plane configuration uh, with this potential. This is Beris Lutsenka uh, uh, um, configuration, which Euro Berist uh, proved in the real case that these are all we essentially uh, added that, that this is true also in the complex. Uh, but I'm not going to consider complex. So it's this Berist result that these are all real 
but you have to choose real out of this. And this is the next thing. So let's see uh, this uh, uh, two-dimensional deformed system. So this is how they look like. Remember that it's Euclidean geometry. It's not just a remember. So uh, this is a, a line with multiplicity M and this with multiplicity one. That's what deformed, right? It's, and uh, theta angle is very special. Cosine must be m, m plus one divided by m plus one. When m equal to one, cos is one half and you have a two. Uh, um, and, uh, and this is, it should be C, uh, what is it? C one, one maybe, right? <laughs> in, the, in the notation, <laughs> I had put it C two, but it's one, one because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's L, um, uh, M, and here you see it should be the same because they orbit, but I we put different uh, things so it's deformed, and uh, these are one one and the angle is again very special. It depends on M and L. If M equal to L, cosine two phi equal to zero, you have the usual B two, right? So this is a very special deformation, and this is actually Jack. Uh, proved uh, 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 my current PhD student who is here uh, that actually for uh, with four lines for three essentially we knew this with, with Misha and Talek but for four it's it's a kind of tedious uh, because you have arbitrary multiplicities to check right I mean uh, you have parameters and you have to check that only one L one M gives uh, gives actually locus configuration. It's not that you can choose four lines, prescribe any multiplicity, and then you find it's it's not possible because you have too many overdetermined systems. So it's only possible if you have if you have uh, this kind of thing. So these are all two-dimensional uh, locus configuration, right, of lines. To, to be safe, this is uh, vertical direction is k coordinate. Sorry? K you introduced k okay. uh, uh, this is the previous uh, page you said k oh sorry uh, the d oh. coordinate yeah yeah mm. just a second no no just, just yeah, yeah 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 right 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 yeah right um uh, right 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 notation uh, uh probably um I think it's fine, right? it's, 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 okay. because okay. of this relation, right? It's fine. It's fine. No, no, it's fine. K is not expressible through M and L, right? So you're right, of course. But it's 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 a. It's a but anyway, these are all. I mean, in dimension two, uh, non-coxeter. You have, of course, dihedral, usual dihedral. You have to add. And uh, this one, if it's less than four line. But remember that we have Beres Lutzenka configuration, right? Also, which is a kind of deformation. And this is the thing. I mean, this is how. So, main message is that locus configuration not far from Coxeter configuration, but but they are nevertheless <laughs> because we're talking about Euclidean. They have different. So, uh, le define. Let's define multiplicity m alpha. Let's say it's large. If you take any m alpha is any two-dimensional plane containing okay. vector alpha, um, then there are no more than m alpha plus one vectors from from our uh, locus configuration. Here we're not taking into account multiplicities, right? So this is a definition which we used to prove this theorem. So if you consider now a subsystem of hyperplanes with large multiplicity in some technical sense, right? Then we prove that it must be Coxeter and the whole system is invariant under the Coxeter group, right? So it's a kind of only, you can only add to the Coxeter system some small multiplicity, right? And the notion of small was, uh, uh, so conjecturally is small means one. So anything bigger than one is is uh, is uh, is large, but this is uh, I mean we were thinking about this and it's, it's uh, uh, for a while. And uh, one more thing uh, we, in favor of this relation with Coxeter system: if you consider all multiplicity equal, then it must be Coxeter. If all multiplicity are equal. Right, because you risk atmosphere. If they then 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 they are coxeter. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mentioned already that for three vectors, it's 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 kind of. In fact, of course, it's true for all 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 known configuration, but uh, it's proved, it's checked, but it's proved only in 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 small uh, cases, right? And check result later. Okay. Uh, and so in two dimensions, uh, do you know all uh, these configurations? Right. Uh, this is the next thing. Just a second. Why it's? Oh yes. Uh, the, we know this due to work of uh, Greg Muller. I think he was student of Yuri Berest and Misha Fagin and Johnston, right? And uh, uh, they are given explicitly by Fagin Johnston formula. This is the formula, which is quite uh, well. I mean, it's it's non-trivial. It's uh, so you consider uh, Ronskian of functions sine kj phi, where kj are very special. They have this form depending on q, m, l, and n. Okay, so uh, let me just, uh, it's a bit mysterious maybe, but uh, it would be, so you have actually dihedral configuration two, uh, d two q, dihedral configuration, and then uh, you we have uh, with multiplicity m and l, the most general one. Right, I mean, and uh, and then you have um, n q additional vectors with multiplicity one. Right, you you add in uh, so this is uh, this is uh, modular conjecture one. These are all actually. So they are given explicit formula, but it's algebraic. It's it's uh, it's non-trivial because you have to write down Ronskian of the function, and of course it's uh, in exponential coordinates. It will be give you algebraic equation, and uh, and uh, the 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 result is that you have only real roots basically of certain Ronskian. You have only real roots. Okay. So this is uh, exactly David uh, and Johnson configuration, and the conjecture is that. Um, uh, these are all such cases because to control a reality of roots is, is non-trivial thing. So uh, in two dimensions, cannot you argue that this is a kind of one-dimensional problem? You say, yeah, of course, of course, it's one-dimensional. I, I should say that phi is, of course, angular coordinates. Of course, it's one-dimensional. But in one-dimensional, so you have a uh, second-order basically operator which uh, which is. Uh, Algebraically integrable, and it should be uh, they are known, right? Of course, it's Darbu, it's Dar, it's Darbu transformation. W is coming from Darbu, second logarithmic derivative of of W, and this is basically what uh, Fagin and Johnson did. They prescribed the level you have to do Darbu transformation <laughs> and the phases. And and why cannot you make it into a complete solution? Uh, well, you have to control real roots when the real when all the roots are real. How would you prove it? Even to prove that um, these all roots of this are real is is it? It's I think it's not obvious, right? It only follows from some relation with orthogonal polynomials. But why do you need? I mean, you could consider complex configuration. Yeah, complex configuration is is given by Berest formula. So all complex yes. configurations are known. Yes, and you have to select only real one. Ah, okay. But this is non-trivial. Because you have to control the rules of complicated function, right? When the rules are real. That's why real real problem is actually, it's, but the conjecture, we know this. It's it's much more satisfactory and it depends only on, well, uh, four integers, right? I mean, so all just, complex configurations are like this, yes? But uh, for all this, let, let me just show you, uh, I mean, this uh, barest, uh, uh, where is it? Beres Lutsenka. You take, well, sign you can write down. K, J are integers, set theta. You have phases and this. K is level of, you do, you do Darbo transformation, right? You just take D square on the unit circle. You have discrete spectrum and then you do Darbo transformation at the level. And you have to be very careful to making the the uh, the Darbo deformation at the right level to control the real yeah. Thing. But if you have uh, want only complex, then this is all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's simple. Okay. This is the finish. Uh, okay. We we add that a little bit because uh, Berest argument I think was real, but uh, it's easy to prove that this is general formula. Right. 
in the complex way, it's simple. It's just to, to distinguish uh, real configuration. Is. So for example, this four line you see with three vectors, for example, there is Beres Lucenka configuration, which is complex. Right. I mean, this is okay. So so uh and now it's uh, it's uh, uh um, a story which uh, of course Pasha knows very well. It's a story of quasi invariant. What Nietzsche actually uh, proved with with Johnston that uh, there is a relation with Gorenstein property between locus configuration and Gorenstein property of the quasi invariants, right? And uh, uh, the he proved that um, corresponding algebra of quasi invariant, you remember that we define quasi invariants as invariants, and uh, it's Gorenstein, and uh, and conjecturally, uh, this is true for all for all uh, LQ because it's, um, uh, but um, the story about Coxeter, since I mentioned this Gorenstein, so uh, it, it was a uh, uh, very important paper by Pasha and, Victor Ginsburg, who proved Greenstein property in Coxeter case, and uh, there was a relevant a related paper by um, our with Giovanni Felder, where we have computed using Lustig uh, results Hilbert series of quasi invariant in Coxeter case. And then we, uh, 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 with Misha, we proved Cohen Macaulay property in the form truth cases. Remember that we have two properties of non Coxeter, A and B. And we prove Cohen Macaulay property, but I think Gorenstein is still open, right? I mean, for type A, it's proven, and for type for, for type C, it is not it's open. Actually. Open for, for 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 one of these deformations, it's proven. For that, for that, is not. And who conjecture is that it is Gorenstein for all locus configurations, all complex ones? No, 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 no. It, I'm to. I, I would be talking today only about real. I mean, I will show some counterexample uh, to... for complex. I don't think it's true. No. So if you, so, that's the statement. If the multiplicity is arbitrary, just on one line, then then this is complete description of uh, Greenstein configurations, and they turn out to be real in particular. Uh -huh. Oh, you didn't assume that it's real. No. Oh. So out of uh, out of out of uh, Beres Lutsenko, for example, Gorenstein only Pagan Johnston, right? So Gorenstein properties turned out to be very strong, which I personally didn't believe, but Misha did believe and even proved. Right? I mean, it's, uh, so this is kind of algebra uh, algebraic side of this, uh, which is. Uh, mm, which is this okay so this is another thing which is important actually um uh, pasha knows the importance of this baker here function and this is the following function it's a kind of it is it is uh sometimes it's called baker gordon i mean it goes back to 19th century it's analog of uh, um exponent on algebraic curve but this is the simplest case so it's a k um, p a polynomial uh so we can see that it, it has a very special uh, form it's polynomial in k time exponential of kx right polynomial in k with just highest term this and then a rational in x right and you you demand the same quasi invariance property and if it satisfies which is a kind of miracle I mean, because it's overdetermined, then uh, it must be um, it must be uh, eigenfunction of the corresponding Kalogero Moser zone. Then you solve quantum Kalogero Moser system basically, and um, uh, uh, this is what we called first axiomatic. Um, again, conjecturally, we 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 believe that it's always true, but in fact, uh, uh, it turned out that converse. Uh, uh, Baker has a function may exist for weaker version. Uh, 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 sorry, converse is 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 um, uh, for locus configuration. You have to relax to change the axiomatics, which I'm not going to talk because the conjecture is that for real locus configuration, 
Baker Ahiezer function is, is this one, which is a stronger version, does exist, right? That's but that's a conjecture. So you can kind of have a formula for the joint eigenfunction of uh, not only explicit formula for quantum integrals, but also for for the eigenfunction, right? You solve completely this integrable system, which is a kind of important thing. Now, let me talk about check system. So now switch. So we lived in Euclidean space, and now it's closer to, we're going closer to theory of hyperplane arrangement, which is a kind of piece of a fine geometry, if you want. So let me start with Euclidean space because it's simpler. So, uh, uh, so uh, let me. So you you uh, uh, you 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 have kind of finite set of vectors, right? And uh, let's say that some uh, some of uh, these vectors are well distributed. This is clearly not very well distributed. But if you consider this canonical form, so this canonical form is some of the uh, alpha alpha, alpha tensor alpha, G A is alpha tensor alpha. Now, um, I, uh, 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 where alpha in Euclidean space is simply a uh, uh, scalar product, but um, uh, the, the, if, if sum of alpha alpha is proportional to the Euclidean form, then we say that these vectors are well distributed. Okay, so sum of alpha alpha is kind of sum of projection, if you want, on on this. Uh, but anyway, so this is a kind of canonical form, and uh, and then we say that um, set A is we live in real again. I mean, it's uh, uh, it's called check system if it's well with distributed in the whole space and. In any two-dimensional subsystem, it's either reducible or well distributed. So it could be that if you reduce it to a uh, plane, then you have just two orthogonal vectors, right? And they need not to be the same length. So this is allowed, and this is a problem. This is a problem. Uh, yeah, can't kind of problem. Um, so, uh, so if you consider any two-dimensional restriction, any two-dimensional subsystem, then you have either well distributed or reducible, reducible, right? And um, so, alternatively, which will be convenient to think, let's start with any vector space, real vector space, and consider dual space, V star, and then we can define Euclidean structure. Uh, simply using alpha alpha right and then uh, of course this is a this is a um, form in uh, ga is is the form in uh, in uh, uh, on v so it maps v to v star naturally and alpha is living in v star then right so alpha check and this is a name for this check system alpha check is pre-image of this alpha now what's the trick here i mean it's it's a uh, it's because uh it's pre-image with respect to the uh, canonical form which is defined by the system so i have the system of vectors simply by this system of vectors i define canonical form which is which depends on the whole system and then i take pre-image which is alpha check so alpha check actually not defined by alpha only it's defined by the whole the whole configuration quite complicated way because you have to invert this right i mean this is the thing. you want a to be a spanning set yeah, yeah yes yes i am always consider essential uh and uh, and maybe at some point i will be talking about only about the reducible situation right but it has to span this star otherwise yes 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 you're right you're right yes it has to say um, uh, my, maybe I should say this. So what was the motivation for this? This comes from different integrable system, kind of classical. And this is uh, the uh, celebrated Witten diagram Verlin de Verlin de equation, which is uh, otherwise known as associativity equation. And there are many appearances. It appears uh, in, uh, in um, first in, in the work of Witten diagram Verlin de Verlin de and uh, and then it it surprisingly but this is i think this was discovered by marshakov uh, mironov and morozov that the very same equation appears in the zyberg theory completely different 
the same victim, but different story, right? I mean, it's, and uh, uh, so, and then Dubrovin essentially said that WD equation is actually master equation of in, in the theory of integrable system, because if you consider they classify solution, uh, give rise to um, um, uh, hierarchy, any solution behind any solution, there is a hierarchy of, of dispersion of integrable system. And then uh, Guido actually, Carly, uh, talk about this, this side of the story. I won't go into it. Now, if the easiest way to look at uh, the, so it's alpha square log alpha, right? And now I'm switching to, to this uh, alpha. I'd like to live now in a fine space, but remember that we have uh, canonical Euclidean structure, but uh, it's automatic. So this alpha check is, 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 a, is a complicated function for this. And uh, then if you consider uh, the corresponding uh, check connection, which is Dubrovin connection, in fact, uh, then it must be flat for all kappa. You have parameter kappa here, parameter kappa here. It must be, it's equivalent. You can think of like this, right? So if you, uh, and, uh, and uh, this introduce uh, uh, kind of logarithmic Frobenius structure on the complement uh, to the hyperplane, and uh, uh, I will might might talk about this uh, later. But let me talk about what do we know about this system. It turned out that there are uh, so first of all, it's already you know when you classify in Coxeter system, you have infinitely many dihedral group in dimension two. Here we go extreme any rank two system is is check system, which means that it makes our classification problem problematic, right? Because you don't have any restriction on, on two-dimensional uh, subspaces, basically, and this is the thing. Now, uh, Coxeter root system, if it's chosen, G invariant, uh, G is Coxeter group, set of normals. Now, uh, this means that I consider, we consider this, uh, um, uh, 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 we, we, we choose one of the normals, right? Because I asked non-collinear, one of the normals, but lengths of the normals could be different on different orbits of the group. Again, this is important because uh, you can choose unit normal. This will be the most uh, common case which is, uh, you will see that it will be very special. But in principle, uh, any you can choose any set of normals by obvious reason, this will be check system. Because if you take any, you have by invariance, you have this. And then again, uh, we discovered deformed true system, but now deformed true system depend on N parameters, N parameters. In dimension N you have, well, uh, n plus one, but up to essentially it's n, n parameters. See, and this is a very special. So you take EI minus EJ, which is a normal, and then you can change any, any root, right? And I said that it must be invariant. Now it's not invariant, right? But it's very carefully chosen, right? There is actually a very beautiful interpretation by Olaf Lechtenfeld, who said that this is actually... Uh, geometrically is the following. You take tetrahedron, that's the roots of tetrahedron, and then you replace regular tetrahedron, but so-called orthocentric tetrahedron. So you leave only the property that uh, heights intersect at one point, and there is a deformation. And this is exactly, but I don't know explanation of this. It's just coincidence, right? It's not how we invented this. We, we simply put mu uh, ij, and then play with this to find, and we realize that it should be a product of ij. So you have only n parameters. From nn minus one, half parameters, you have only n. Everything expressed through this n. So this is parameter. And then we found also a deformation of bn, and this is the thing. So this, uh, so, uh, and then that's, that's um, a very, I think, important result. Um, uh, with Misha, uh, that class of check system, you if you take Coxeter system, right, you can take a subsystem and it will be also Coxeter. But if you take restriction or projection, it's not. Check system 
satisfy this property. It's closed under restriction. And I think it is, in a way, we can view them probably as kind of minimal extension of Coxeter root system, which is, you know, kind of uh, satisfy both taking subsystem and, and restriction. Anyway, I think it's a very important property because by restriction, and this is now, if I coming back to this, let me let me just show you. Maybe at this point, I don't have time much to, to see this, uh, to show this, but let me show this, which yes, you might. Remind the definition is that uh, if you have a subspace which is spanned by its intersection with the system, then it is well spanned. Yeah. Uh, uh, only two dimensions. Only two dimensions. Only two dimensions. And from here, it follows what you said. Uh -huh. But it has to be proved. So but in two, two dimensions, the condition is vacuous, and so you can get any system. Exactly. Right, 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 right. But there is no, so you constructed a well spanning system just by uh, taking any collection of vectors, but you cannot easily construct systems in dimensions bigger than two. Uh, because no, no, this is the thing. I mean, I will show uh, conjecturally now we stuck. I mean, there are many, many attempts. Uh, we didn't find anything new since. 2008 essentially with our we we made a list with Misha catalog and then well with Veronica Schreiber we did uh, later on uh, 2014 and but at the time we thought that we might find and you know in Strohn I think was looking with one of his PhD students all of Lichtenfeld dealt uh, had a numerical computer experiment but computer can work only classify only up to in dimension three, up to 10 vectors. And you will see that will be up to 10 vectors. There is no new, all in our list with Misha, but it's very small, of course, number 10. So this is where it is proved up to, to but let me show this. This is an interesting thing. If you replace here M by one over M, then it will be restriction <laughs> of AN system. <laughs> you can choose plane. In, in an system such that it will be, but with dual for some reason, m to one over m. So because you have to have m, m and one and cosine, but cosine is given the same formula, except that m goes to one over m. So you can, re, it, it's, you know, the four, what we see is a kind of, this deformation is dual to the restriction, not restriction itself. Because uh, for restriction, M is not integer. It's, it's one over M. A stupid question. Yes. M what the multiplicity? Yeah? M is if you have. Rational number. Sorry? M is right. You're of... absolutely right. What do you mean by that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that restriction will be M, M1. M geometry. Ah. On the geometry. Ah. From geometry, it's M, M1. But we can divide it. <laughs> right. No, because I see. I see. Oh. And then using form. For, because we, now we're using already parameters, right? So up to scaling, you, you can you can rescale, of course. Uh, check system, it will be still check system, right? So, so if you have M, M. So, and I don't know significance of this, right? It's uh, So the first default system we discovered was dual to restriction, but we didn't have this idea that it, it, it is real, there is any relation. But in fact, this link with restriction of Coxeter system now seems to be very, very important. So let me uh, go back to, to classification. Uh, uh, just a question. So this yeah. is system, so you said you have a list, but you study the real ones. Yes. So what about complex? Uh, complex is also in our list. Uh, there are, are there uh, other examples of complex which are not real? Yes. I will show some of them because they are counterexample to conjecture, which is we believe that it's true in real case, but not in the complex case. But you still have a list for complex, which you cannot find anything new uh, beyond the list. Uh, I think so, right? Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's... Uh, uh, there was, I think, new in locus case, but not in check system, right? So Alec Chalov told me something. But anyway, maybe we can talk. So conjecture. How? Why? Why the, I'm talking about these two things? Because locus configuration conjecturally is part of this. 
right? So namely, if you uh, multiply by square root of multiplicity, then you will have check system. Uh, yeah, 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 right. If you have locus configuration from Roger Moser, and if you multiply it by, rescale it by square root simply of multiplicity, then you will have check system. When you real locus configuration. Okay, so um, let me just say a few words about matroidal thing. And I think this is maybe important step we didn't go further, uh, but anyway. So what is, uh, let's consider Matroid. So this is Matroid of B2 B, uh, uh, system. So uh, uh, maybe you, you recognize that E1, E2, E3, and these are other six, right? And Matroids, you remember flats are, this is Whitney, uh, essentially you, you uh, flats are, um, uh, uh, vectors which where you have linear dependence, linear dependence matroids. So you, you have three vectors um, uh, uh, which are, uh, 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 and uh, this will be, so in this way, we record in all the linear dependence, right, in this matroid. And then if you have matroid, then you, uh, of, of, check, of check system, then you can define, um, what we call new function on two flats, right? On any two flats. And this is the thing you, you consider, remember that GA of XI is this sum, uh, but over all A. And if you consider flat uh, pi, then you can consider sum simply within the flat, right? And it must be proportional by the condition of, uh, because it's flat, it's not reducible. Right, and it must be proportional. And coefficient of proportionality is, is uh, uh, new. It is well defined, actually. So the conjecture is uh, is that uh, yeah, I mean we had some formula to compute actually this function new uh, for check system. It's only for check system. That's that's uh, doesn't make sense for arbitrary. Uh, but anyway, here it's and uh, the conjecture which I had that. Matroid structure plus knowledge of function new uh, uniquely defined. So you need this additional information of, of new and we had some restriction. What are possible function of new? Conjecturally, it is uniquely defined, but it's not proof. For example, for check, for check system of A and C, then new I you have. Uh, and uh, so if you know, uh, new i, you know, ci up to proportionality, right? So um, it's 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 kind of conjecturally uh, true. Anyway, so uh, let me just this is largest check system we have in dimension three, and this is restriction of h four uh, to some hyperplane, three dimensional hyperplane. It has thirty one vectors, right? And uh, 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 we, um, uh, yeah, I mean, and it's it's just, and uh, this is E8, and it has um, 19, I think, vectors, right? I mean, it's but it's matroid. It's, uh, it's uh, now what we proved with Veronica uh, that uh, actually you cannot deform these examples, right? If there is example, then they are far away. Right, so uh, it's it's all. So, for example, this system, there is nothing uh, near H three or H four, and this is the thing. Right, and this is the list. That's let me discuss. I mean, this is the list I mentioned with Pasha, uh, with, with with Misha um, uh, in two thousand eight. Still stay, right? We 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 thought that it might be. So there are interesting lines here, right? Families. So the main families is A3, C, right? And B3, which is deformed root system, right? This is a kind of the main families. They have most of parameters, but then there is G3. It comes from Lee super algebra. It comes from, you know, there is one Lee super algebra which depends already on the parameter. And uh, some of the parameter is zero. If you relax this condition, it will be still check system, right? So if sum of lambdas D1, D2, one lambda, if sum of lambda is zero, then it's a root system for 
uh, basic classic, but you just relax this and then you will have this, what we call G3. There is also AB, AB4. It's also uh, one of the basic Lie superalgebra. So there is a link with Lie superalgebras, which, so which explain where they coming from. I mean, this extra. But this is not a picture in the plane, right? No, 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 it's just symbolic. It's just symbolic. It's, it's a plane of any kind. It's in, a, in a way, <laughs> in a way, in a way. But it's more than two Yeah, I mean, it's the thing is that uh, parameters on each line, they own. For example, this should be the fattest one, B, which depend on, you know, uh, but uh, maybe the same as a three, to be honest, three, three parameters. Anyway, so this is the thing. And uh, all of Lechtenfeld, I just mentioned that uh, he proved that uh, using extensive computation, uh, computer computation at the time, probably it was difficult to go move beyond 10 vectors. But you see that the largest one, which is here, have 31 vectors. Okay. So it's well beyond this, right? So let me just be quick. So a link with uh, um, freeness, with freeness. Let me explain why we believe that there is a link actually here, right? One way. Uh, so this is a, a definition of cyto uh, uh, property being free, and this is criterion, cyto criterion. And then, uh, and uh, and uh, um, the uh, free hyperplane arrangement is hereditary tree if it's all its intersection arrangement also, if your restriction also free. And then uh, there is a result of Orly Cantarao, which say that Coxeter arrangement, not only free, which was known since Saito, but it's also uh, all restriction are free, right? Which is uh, kind of non trivial. And the, the conjecture which we had with Misha is that um, uh, for real check system, it's, it's always true. The reason, let me explain kind of weak. Now, if it's true, it implies topological restriction, of course, on, on, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, uh, complement of, uh, uh, on, on the hyperplane. And the, for the complex, for example, uh, this is complex check system, but corresponding Poincaré polynomial is not factorizable, not free, right? I mean, for example, this is the thing. So, but for real, uh, we believe that it's, it's, uh, it is true, but of course, uh, freeness is much larger class, much larger class. It's not, it's not that strong. So let me now, another thing, another property. They all, for, so, for some reason, simplicial, right? Well, uh, and conjecture is that corresponding hyperplane arrangement are simplicial, and uh, this is related to K pi one, another uh, topological property. So um, because of the lean, it means that complexification is K pi one, and uh, this means that higher homotopy groups are trivial, and uh, and and uh, this is uh, conjecture by Saito. Um, uh, uh, which is still holds, right? I mean, it's no, it's not no longer true. No yeah. longer true. true. Counter example. I see. Yeah. Nevertheless, there are so many coincidences. Yeah. The, some arrangement become free. It's very rare. And arrange some complement of arrangement become K pi one also very rare. And these rare cases coincide so often. So there should be still modified formulation. I'm looking for some possible formulation now. Different. And let me explain why uh, there is a kind of one more relation with which we each uh, might be interesting. So you remember that uh, 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 check system is equivalent to flatness of some connection. This is a connection. So then you can consider flat flat uh, section, which is KZ equation, right? It's a kind of check KZ equation. And what we... Um, uh, uh, showed with Misha that any polynomial solution of of uh, of uh, uh, this is is actually gives you gradient logarithmic vector field, not just logarithmic field, but gradient. It means that it's gradient uh, of 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 some polynomial, right? With with degree ex equal exactly kappa, so kappa is actually the degree of corresponding. Uh, uh, uh,
vector field or okay, corresponding or minus one. No, maybe it's just just kappa. Right. Anyway, so this is, and then we have this definition of harmonic. If you have k kappa n parameters such that uh, with this property, and then it's um, um, uh, uh, arrangement is harmonic. Um, uh, uh, any harmonic system is free with expo exponent uh, bi equal to kappa i. Right. So it's it's a kind of link with with this. Uh, with this uh, polynomial solution of KC equation, which we studied with Giovanni, and this is the thing. Anyway, and this is observation actually goes back to Fagin and Silantiev, that if you consider Coxeter root system with equal lengths, right, then corresponding logarithmic vector fields are uh, potential of the corresponding layer site of flat coordinates. So site of flat coordinates appeared here as potential of solution of polynomial of KZ equations, right? I mean, but look, if you have to choose equal lengths, and this is the thing, if you choose not equal lengths, for example, you take a dihedral group with different lengths, lengths A and B, then you have this uh, side of flat coordinates, and this is extra term, which depend, you see, if A equal to B, it's goal, but otherwise it's, 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 uh, it depends on K and we don't know the meaning of this, right? We don't, uh, we don't, we don't uh, know. Well, I mean, these are uh, flat coordinates, but what is this? We don't know, but it's, it's coming kind of naturally with, uh, you know, so it's only if lengths. Is, so for example, for B2, for B2, if you take proper B2, then A square will be something like two. What are A and B? Lengths of the root. Of the roots. Because you have even, right? Yeah, talking about the simple case. Yeah. Well, here, dihedral group. So yeah, for, dihedral B, case is, for, yeah, B2, for B2, we have to take equal lengths, not B2, as we understand in Lie algebra, but for equal. And then we have side coordinates. If we take Lie algebraic lengths, we have extra term, right? So if you take root system, we do. And uh, uh, so this is, um, uh, let me just, uh, last last slide, sorry, I, I'm late. Uh, for A and system, I mean, let's look at this KC equation because they're interested, interesting. And they are actually, the story goes back to Lauricella, but um, in the recent term, it's our motto. You see, you see, you have this hyper hyper geometric type of integrals, and then you uh, they satisfy certain uh, certain equation, and this is this is the equation, and this is KZ equation, and this case is exactly equation for kind of Luricella type of hyper geometric integrals, and this was observed with many by many people, uh, you know, uh, Layonga in particular, Maxim Pavlov, Kadama Kanapelchenko in theory of integrable system, or Lictorau in the theory of hyperplane arrangement. So let me just, this is really last one, uh, which I didn't have time to mention because it's, uh, it's, it says, uh, if we classify locus configuration, we solve Hadamar problem, right? Uh, in the theory of Huygens principle, that was shown modulo some assumption, but I mean, believable. Um, it is related to Frobenius manifold and Dubrovian almost duality. Uh, no time. Halona Miller algebra, uh, Kona, uh, Alessandro, Luis Paolo, uh, Lorenzoni, um, uh, and Lee super algebra. I did mention and super conformal and particle the mechanics. This is why Lechtenberg uh, was was interested. So this is this is it. Sorry for being there. Thank you.